here's what you need to know about the effect that a divorce can have on your will and your life insurance policies. Consider this scenario. Suppose that after your divorce, your ex-spouse dies and you find out that he or she never changed their will and you're still named as sole beneficiary on their will and their life insurance policy. Do you get to collect? My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney who practices probate wills and family law in San Antonio, Texas. And this scenario has come up in a number of different ways throughout my career. I can tell you what really matters is whether or not those documents were signed before or after the divorce became final and when the divorce became final. Because you see, if the divorce became final after these documents are signed, after the will was made, after the life insurance policy was set up, the divorce then later became final, then the law presumes that you are not the beneficiary of those documents. They will treat you as if you don't exist. In fact, the, the courts and the life insurance companies, they will say that legally it's as if you died before your ex-spouse died. And they will just go on to whoever the next beneficiary is and you get nothing out of those documents. But if, for instance, as part of the divorce, you negotiated that you were going to keep each other wills as beneficiary, and you really do want your ex-spouse to be able to collect, you have to sign these documents after the divorce. So even though the will already named your spouse as, as beneficiary, after the divorce, you have to make a new will and name them again as beneficiary on a will that's dated and signed after the date of divorce. And you'd have to call your life insurance company and get whatever paperwork they require, fill it out, date it, and sign it after the date of divorce to confirm that you really do want your ex-spouse to be the beneficiary of this policy. Now, if you um, are in the middle of a divorce and it is not final yet, and then one of the persons in the divorce proceeding dies, the divorce proceeding itself becomes moot. It's as if the divorce proceeding never happened. Even though you filed a petition, you paid the filing fee, you maybe even argued over temporary orders in the court, but if there's no final decree of divorce entered, then you are not divorced yet. The law presumes you are still married at the time of your death. The divorce proceeding just goes away like it never happened. And you can collect on the will or the life insurance policy that was signed before the divorce proceeding started because you're still married. So it all depends on the timing of things. I always recommend that people, while you're still in the middle of the divorce proceeding, go ahead and make a new will because you can control what happens to your separate property and your half of the community property, even though you're still married. And if something were to happen to you before the divorce was made final, at least that would still be taken care of. And then after the divorce is final, go ahead and make another new will and go and make a new beneficiary designation on your life insurance policy, just to make sure that everything is clear, that there's no legal complications or confusion after you pass away when it's too late to do anything about it. If you're really interested in this topic and wanna to learn more, check out chapter eight of my book, especially page 151. My book is called Divorce and Estate Planning in Texas, How to Plan Ahead for the Unexpected and Save Your Family's Future. And it's available on Amazon. You can look me up, Laura D. Hurd, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.